Good afternoon, everyone. So, like I, uh, I just uh, received this in the mail. This is a dal dollar, dollar rauni um, gouache, simply gouache. I got this locally from fully booked. So, um, here today, I am going to transfer the paints inside my um, trouble trouble bucket. So, this is a trouble bucket for um, water. And this one right here is comes in this now uh, with the set. This is um, a green palette for for gouache or for other paints such as acrylic and um, watercolor. So I'm going to use this as my container for my dollar rounding. As mentioned in my previous um, video unboxing of my um, Winsor & Newton um, Signer Gouache, I am going to use Simply Gouache by Dollar, Dollar Rowney for, for my practice pieces and final output for those who would like to purchase uh, commission work from me. Okay, so uh, I'm going to also use this um, gouache. Okay, so, okay, so let's start pouring in the gouache. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a um, small amount of the gouache, and then we'll just, um, we'll just replenish this once I run out. So the one, the first one I, I opened is the black or negro, okay, black. Okay, and then next is this burnt umber here. Nice. Brown. My Windsor and Newton doesn't have doesn't have burnt umber. I use burnt umber a lot for when I am painting landscapes, especially when um, painting trees. This one right here is um, what color is this one? This one is burnt sienna. Okay. okay so burnt sienna is a little uh, reddish brown. Whereas um, burnt umber is, for me, the true blue brown. Okay. Next is um, this one, which is um, yellow ochre. I also love yellow ochre, especially when painting uh, neutral subjects such as landscapes. Yeah. Right here. This um, dollar, dollar rowney wash is rather fluid. As fluid as as the um, my Windsor and Newton designer gouache, really more fluid than Himimiya gouache. So I'm really excited to swatch and paint with this as well. This one right here is leaf green. Nice. So the color is called differently with Dollar and Rowney. This one right here is leaf green. I think. The equivalent for this one is the permanent green of Windsor and Newton. Okay. Next is Hooker's Green. Wow, it has Hooker's Green. In watercolor, you don't get this usually in a set. Hooker's Green, you need to buy it separately. But it's actually uh, one of my favorite greens. Next to what's the other green I use. Viridian green. I also like using sap green. Okay. 
this one here is another favorite color whether it's gouache or watercolor which is French ultramarine blue so ultramarine blue I love this blue for when I'm painting portraits uh, it's a cold blue or cool blue rather this one right here is cerulean blue so cerulean, cerulean hue or blue is the one I use for when I'm painting um, the sky because it's um, the color of sky I also mix this with um, cobalt blue and uh, ultramarine when I'm painting the sea next is crimson red okay so crimson red is a little uh, this one is um, a little cool yeah so it's cool red next vermilion hue okay so vermilion hue is warm red so it's lightly orange it's a hint of orange okay I forgot to Okay, so unlike unlike uh, Winsor and Newton designer gouache, this one you need to punch, you need to punch through. Okay, so I'm really curious as to how long a gouache tube will last when it's um, once it's opened. So I heard that it solidifies more quickly than watercolor, but I'm not so sure about that. I need to research about it with of us uh, to the um, shelf life of this wash. This one right here is lemon yellow. Okay, one another cool yellow. Another one that I use a lot in my um, paintings. And this one right here is white. Okay. Uh, in gouache, uh, white is one of the most often used color. Yeah because uh, you can use it to mix with these colors to create um, uh, pastel colors okay, to make it more opaque so I have uh, 16 grids here so I was only able to fill or put pour in colors 12 grids because this one right here is a 12 color set okay so next we will swatch this amazing <laughs> Very, I, I love this gouache. This is recommended by my favorite gouache artist, um, Miriam Tilson. I will put her profile link in the, the description box below. Okay? In order to swatch my spiffy brand new gouache from Dollar and Ronnie, I am going to make a chart like this, color chart. Okay? So I will need a um, pencil. I will need pencil, a brush, a brush on this calligraphy pen, and this ruler right here. Okay, so we'll just, just, okay, one, two, or let me just draw this grid right here, and then just arbitrarily put the So in order to um, test the opacity of the gouache, we will just put a line right here using my calligraphy pen, okay? just for the black here. Okay, I could have used pendle pen for this, but, but um, I noticed, I, I realized that my pendle pens have been sitting around for a while. Uh, I already lost, the, it has dried up, the ink has dried up. So. I need to refill it again. It's the thing about not using pendle pen for a long while. Sometimes you just dry out and you need to refill them again. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, beautiful Burchani Puchani, uh, Bonacci rather, um, synthetic brush. This is size 10 round. And then I'm gonna use my um, collapsible bucket for the water. And then the, light, uh, the good thing about this um, collapsible set, travel set, is that it already has this um, 
mixing well right here. And I like that um, this grid can be covered with the silicone cover right here. You see that? Let me just check my camera whether it's aligned properly. Okay, so let me just start swatching the colors. I will, I will uh, paint this side right here and then um, mix here and then just write the colors here. Okay, so let's start with black. So I already see the difference between black uh, by Dollar Rowney, this one, the set, and the black from Winsor & Newton. Um, the the Winsor & Newton black wash is darker than this. This one right here is like paints gray. Okay, so that's one difference. But like I said, since um, Miriam Tilson, my favorite wash artist, she's French. Uh, uses this product so I decided to buy this one as well just to test it and also because I want to really learn how to paint and wash but using the new Spencer & Newton might be a little too expensive if I'm going to just practice with it so I plan to use this, this because this is way cheaper than um, Winsor & Newton but this this set Dollar & Ronnie is only 693 at fully booked for um, 12 colors uh, per tube is 12 ml yeah so I noticed that so far the color is uh, the color of the gouache is less vibrant than the one the ones by Winsor & Newton but like I said I'm totally fine I'm totally fine with it this is still way better than the one by Himi Himimiya Himimiya gouache because uh, Himimiya gouache is just too thick, too chalky for my taste. So I've used that for one of my um, projects. It's just <laughs> so hard to work with, especially if you're using brush that's uh, for multi uh, mixed media uh, brush. This one right here, although this one is synthetic, this um, this brush is snappy but a little soft than nylon brushes. So when I use this to paint using Himimiya gouache, I really struggled. Okay, so here's the main difference between Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache and Dollar and & Rowney. Uh, this gouache is way lighter than, this is way lighter than Winsor & Newton's. So as you can see, the opacity is less compared to Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. Okay. This is like, it's almost transparent, like watercolor. So, oh, I like the ultramarine blue. Okay, so, here. Let me just double that and let's see. Here you go. But I like if this is more spreadable than Himi Mia Gouache. I still, this is still worth the money. Especially if you're a newbie in wash painting. You know, I always advise my students. Well, I also teach basic watercolor for to homeschooling children. I always advise their parents to buy the cheapest paint you can get your hands on for now. And once the children really show a uh, deeper interest in in painting using wash and watercolor then that's the time that they get the artist grade paints because it's really it, I, I don't like to waste resources especially in this pandemic so it would be nice if they can just spend their money on things that their kids are so much uh, are so interested in um, they think that the kids will will uh, spend their time studying because painting really does take a lot of effort patience time investment in money as well because um some paints especially artist grade ones can be really expensive artist grade paints are bang for your buck i must say that they're really worth every penny but if you're not going to sell your uh, artworks 
and you don't have a decent job, this can be really ex an expensive hobby. Um, I'm just lucky that they are, I have a supportive partner as well as friends who <laughs> buy my artwork so I'm able to um, afford this. I also have a shop shop where I, I, I sell artworks, uh, rather um, art materials. Um, soon I will be selling Winsor & Newton Cotman um, Traveler, Traveler set. The 12 color set and um, I'm going to sell that and then once I once um, it's available still in transit once it's available I'm going to unbox one so that people will get uh, to see how uh, how really nice um, Cotman is okay Cotman is um, student grade uh, version of Vincere Newton artist grade watercolors so there's artist grade there's student grade uh, for student grade watercolors I would say that Winsor & Newton Cotman is the best out there I've used uh, a few Cotman I have a few palette I have a, I have a few half pants of Cotman that I bought while I was still studying or pretty new to watercolor okay but let's talk about gouache now so okay so the main difference between um, Dollar and Rowney and um, Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache is that this one right here is less opaque. Dollar and Rowney Gouache is less opaque than Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. Okay, let me just show you um, my swatch for see here Designer Gouache by Winsor & Newton. It's more opaque. See how it covers the black line okay so here you go and then um, I painted this donut you seeing the designer gouache by Winsor & Newton see it's really opaque um, so comparing that with um, Dollar & Rowney's Dollar & Rowney's is less opaque but is it easy to work with definitely yes compared to um, Himimiya gouache because Himimiya gouache is just really, really chalky. This is Him Himimiya, a sample of Himimiya gouache. See how solid it has become. And uh, once it's hard, um, you really need to spray water on this because otherwise, if you just wet your brush and try to get paint here, you might destroy your brush. So I really don't recommend that um, you use your brush to wet Himimiya gouache. But with... Um, let me just show you. This is a sample of the, um, the Winsor Newton Designer Gouache. Let me just compare the color blue, okay? So that you'll see the difference right here. This is uh, Winsor Newton Designer Gouache here. So that's the difference. The texture is velvety. The color is pretty vibrant compared to this one. And you only need a little to get this vibrant color right here with Dollar and Rowney I needed to um, do two layers of the blue in order to get this dark uh, blue right here yeah but is, the, is it worth it yes it is because um, it's really cheap for 693 12 colors 12 milliliter tube per color that's already a bong for your buck as well as um, um, if you're start, if you're just new to gouache, I would say that it's nice to try gouache using this um, set because it's it's uh, less in terms of frustration. The way I got frustrated with Himimiya gouache, it's just um, I started painting using Himimiya gouache last year. Uh, I stopped doing it because I, I just noticed that it destroys my brush because it's just hard to work with. It's too chalky for my taste. Let me just show you a painting I did using Himimiya gouache. Here, th this is um, a painting I did using Miriam Tilson's um, Miriam Tilson's tutorial. Yeah, so I like this one. Yeah. I, I'm not saying I don't like it, but if you notice, uh, <laughs> the color is really chalky. <laughs> chalky, okay? It's chalky. So, um, yeah, so I think I can do better now that I have these two 
uh, gouache sets with me. The Dollar Roni and the he Windsor, Windsor and Newton gouache. Let me, just, let me just show you again. This is um, designer gouache by Windsor and Newton. And this one right here is by Do Dollar Roni. Swatch of Dollar and Roni. Yeah. So, is this still worth your money? I, I think I will still paint course because I already have it I will still paint using dollar and round especially for my practice pieces but for my commissioned work uh, depending on the budget of the client I will be using either dollar and Ronnie and Windsor and Newton so I hope uh, this swatch swatching unboxing and swatching video has been helpful for you especially for those who are deciding which um, gouache to, to get for those who are just new to gouache, I would recommend Dollar and Rowney rather than Himi Mia Gouache so that you won't get uh, frustrated and you don't destroy your brushes. Uh, but if you're going to do this professionally, I would still recommend Windsor & Newton Designer Gouache. If you've tried other brands of gouache, do let me know in the comment section. I would really love to get my hands on them and try them also for my art. But for now, I really love painting with my watercolor and my new gouache set. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and healthy, especially in this pandemic. Bye for now.